Hey guys, the Q&A for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad will come out tomorrow because I have a couple of more questions I want to include or better, the answers are a little bit more complicated so I will make this tomorrow. So look forward for that tomorrow. I also have a quick tip today about this one here, I'll show you in a second. And also once a month, my girlfriend and I, we do a quality day. We include that into our relationship because we both learned something from the past. I guess you probably already know that too, but not what we did, but you know probably that it's important to have quality time and maybe even uh, schedule that stuff. So yesterday we were renting a car. So the first tip here is that we didn't rent it a car. We did something that's called car relocation. So sometimes those um, car rental companies, they need to bring a car from point A to point B. And so they save money by not taking an employee and driving there and then he has to come back. They just give that out for $1, one euro. So we found that, that's pretty cool. But we decided to uh, travel a little bit on the south of Germany. And why do I tell that? Because we were sleeping in the car, did some road trip stuff, and we came back late today. So that's also the reason why I couldn't finish the Q&A video. Anyway, so the important thing is have quality days because it's very important also to sometimes just come off. I mean, I'm working every day in DaVinci Resolve, so to just be off for now, not even two days, but one and a half days was amazing. Okay, the quick tip for today. If you have one of those dongles, so I got one from Editor's Keys, which has a headphone jack in it. Or if you find someone with a headphone jack in it, that's amazing because then you can just plug in headphone jack and you can edit. Why do I say that? Because many Bluetooth headphones have the problem that they have a lat latence. So if you try to edit, everything comes delayed. So it's sometimes easier to edit and I'm doing the same. I just use my Apple headphones, plug them in. It's kind of stupid what I'm showing you right now, but it works and that's why I'm showing you this. Then I have the adapter to USB-C and if you don't have a headphone jack in here, like most of those dongles, you can also get a dongle that just from Amazon, which is like $20, $30, and it has USB-A. And it works the same. I use now, can you see that? Let me see if I can make this more sharp. Do you see that? That is a USB-C to USB-A adapter. Anyway, so it works perfectly. You can plug this in, plug it into your hub, and by the way, if you don't have a hub, you should have a hub because then you can also have an external SSD while plugging other stuff in. It's just amazing. But anyway, and it works. And you have your headphones and you can edit on the go and you have no latence. This is most of the time I edit with these and not with my big headphones. But of course, I could also plug in my big headphones, but they're just, yeah, you get my point. That's it for this day, for today, for today. Yeah, see you tomorrow in the Q&A video. I'm Daniel. Bye.